JV is a producer, director, actor, songwriter, and singer. He's producing a new show at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach called Garden of Love. It's a tale of a diva, a musical renaissance theatrical experience live on stage. When we met recently, I realized he is very passionate about music, and I asked him if I could interview him about his background and about the show at the Colony Theater this Saturday. JV, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it very much. Um, I want to take our listeners on a little bit of a background on you first. Tell me where you're from and a little bit about your musical beginnings. Okay. Um, well, basically, um, I my background is Cuban and Puerto Rican. I basically grew up here all my life, so I feel like basically this is my home, this is my place. I started my music... Um, Oh, I would say probably the age of 10, maybe younger, a little bit younger. My first trial run was Disney. That's basically where I got started. And then back some time ago when they did Pleasure Island, and then I happened to cross the waters a little bit, and I went over to Universal to do their grand opening of the Motown. And um, So when you say you were you were actually at Disney theme park and universal theme park in orlando working as a well i would i would work as this as a singer there i would do different okay. acts and different things as well there which was uh, very interesting and it was a an interesting journey for me mm-hmm. so to speak mm-hmm. and it's kind of a learning a stepping stone if you will so how old are you around that time that time I was probably about, I would say, uh, 15, 16. Very young, yeah. Yeah, so. What were your musical influences? Well, that's kind of difficult to describe because I had in basically an idea to make my music sound a little more interesting than your common artist. I wanted to take it up another level. I wanted it to be also something that you would feel right in your in your right in your soul mm. it gets right to you goes right through and you can actually feel it so you started to work on your own project yes as you're developing it I, i'm getting a sense of you know there's a lot of passion in your work correct it's mm-hmm. it's uh, something that means something very special to you what do you account for that what is it that's in side you that you want to share with the world? Well, what I'd like to share with the world is that uh, beautiful music still does exist and it's not going away and that music just doesn't have to be an electrical instrument because I do notice that a lot of times music now is a little bit more mechanical. It's not like it used to be. You know, if you look, if you you know, go back to the nostalgia music and the in the older generation music. It's it's there's a lot more. It's a more organic. Soul. Yes, yeah. it's more organic. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So, with your creativity, you've put together a show. We'll start there, and I want to describe it as as we can. And I, we don't have to make comparisons, but you have described it in many different ways. And I want you to try to go through what it is people would expect for an evening, what is it, an hour and a half, two hours of a production? It's an hour and 38 minutes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do they expect when they get go to the Colony Theater to see your production? And what is the name of it? The name is Garden of Love of the show. It yes. is called Garden of Love. Yes. And tell us, we're going into the Colony Theater for a beautiful evening of Garden of Love. What do we expect? Okay, it's a, it's a sort of a music, musical renaissance experience, a tale of a diva, a renaissance woman whose only belief was in romance and love. You mentioned diva, so that's you've you've got. Um... Well, of course, I understand. I and I that back in that time frame, that sort of phrase was not you know <laughs> didn't exist. But of course, we are. This is two thousand ten. So yeah. in this story, what does 
the term diva mean to you? I know that a lot of times in operas, it's explained as the diva not to be messed with, a very stubborn, strong strong woman, and it's not. But in the Renaissance days, the diva was the complete opposite, somebody who was loving, caring, and considerate. So talk about the Renaissance days, because this, I'm getting a picture now as we go through it. This is taking place in Renaissance time? Correct. Okay. Correct. Set the scene of the of the Renaissance era. Okay. Well, the Renaissance era, basically, where most of the evenings, most of the day was spent in a garden. Uh, they, they had many activities. Uh, they played games. They, you know, they talked, had long conversations. And so I kind of made it a little more exciting and just turned it into what into the story that it is now and turned it into. But then again, in that time frame there, it was basically considered really a garden of love because there was, if there was a misunderstanding or quarrel, it was basically taken out of the garden, mm-hmm. from my understanding. And what so. what years are we talking about? I would probably have to say uh, eighteen ninety. How many people in your cast? There are six of us, and mm. yourself included. Correct. What part do you play? I play the, the diva. I play the diva. Well, you're mounting this show at the Colony Theater. It's August seventh. And for tickets, of course, you can go to Ticketmaster, but also you can go to the Colony Theater. And I understand that they also, at the theater only, will do a student or a senior discount, which is good for people to know. Correct. This is an artistic show that's brought together by the arts and the music combined, which makes it a little different than most shows. And being live... Um, because I'm singing also, but I also have one more gentleman in my cast, which will also be singing the Samba Brazilian part of the show, mm. which makes it even more interesting. I see. So. You waited for the for the end to throw that one in. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful, though. Um, okay, so oh, so the whole cast isn't singing; just a couple of you. It's not just, a right. Just I'm the main character yeah. doing most of the singing myself, and then one other person. What Correct. about sets? What kind of sets do you have? Well, the sets uh, are just it's, keeping it simple. It's just going to be simple. It's a garden. There's not much you can do with a garden, an outdoor garden. It can't. You can't change it every single scenery. Um, but uh, with the different acts that we do, and our our actors and dancers do a wonderful job at that. And you will see it all put together. And so now you mentioned dancing as well. There's a bit of dancing involved. So it really is this indescribable, as we keep peeling back the layer, there's there's even a little bit of dancing as well. Correct. What kind of dancing? Just that sort of Broadway kind of movement? um, Well, no, sort of like the Renaissance type of dance. And describe that, though, for again, for those who... Well, the Renaissance was the basically like the leaping over another and kind of like playing like a... um, sort of like a tag type of thing outdoor, mm-hmm. you know, and it just in in the style of a simple movement of left, right, how they used to dance back in those days, you know. So, what but, made you pick the Renaissance period? Um, well, because I find it to be interesting uh, for my music and the idea that I have. Of the perfect garden. Mm -hmm. And that garden of love. love. Yeah, (laughs) I got it. Well, this has been quite a wonderful conversation. Uh, We've been speaking with JV, and he's putting on his wonderful production called Garden of Love at the Colony Theater. And that is August 7th, 830. So, of course, you can uh, go to the Colony. You can uh, go online, Ticketmaster, or the website for videos and lots of information on JV is myspace.com slash J-A-Y-V-1050. That's myspace.com slash J, the letter V, 1050. And JV, thanks so much for coming in. It was a pleasure speaking with you. It was a pleasure for me too. Thank you.